Hi everybody, it's Kayla, and welcome back to Fixer Upper, the show where I attempt to fix up your houses. So today we're doing a house called Crumbling Colonial. It's by Kim Regina on the gallery. It costs about 122,000 simoleons. Jeez, that's expensive. <laughs> expensive. And it caught, it's on a four, sorry, got confused now. It's on a 30 by 20 lot, four bedrooms, two bathrooms. I put those two things together. I don't know what I'm talking about. But basically 50 years ago, the residents of this house disappeared. Uh, by some ducks vicious activity. That's spooky. You'll see in a second there's a lot of ducks in here. Um, and now the new owners want to fix it up. So I like this house a lot. I ended up, I think I'm going to use it for my legacy in a second. I'll, I'll explain that later too, but um, I like my renovation a lot. So I think I'm going to use it and play in it in my own gameplay. But hashtag fix me little Simsy. I haven't mentioned this in a long time, but in case you wanted to build a house fixer upper, you can post on the gallery with the hashtag fix me little Simsy and then I can see it. Um, I check that. All the time ready let's let's look at it right now hashtag fix me lil simsy and then look these are all the fixer upper houses that i picked from so if you wanted to to be a part of that go for it my dudes anyway here's the house um as you can see she could use some help i love this circular driveway I'll, or sidewalk thing i actually got rid of it um but it's cute <laughs> I liked the sentiment of it, uh, but this is a really clever place. As you can see, there's a lot of just, again, with the details, like all the landscaping, it looks, it's a good kind of bad, you know? Like it, it looks bad because it's all overgrown and stuff, but it looks good because you can tell they put a lot of work into it. It's one of those. Um, and just over here, I just, it, it's so clever, you know, with all this like debug items and the ducks, <laughs> uh, but I just, it's cool. And like with the caution signs, I don't know, it's all very clever. And then when you come in, um, you see a nice wall <laughs> again, and then we have like these stairs. With the, look at this with the broken wood. I think that's very cool. Um, and then over here, we've got just, you know, casual stuff. Like I like the packages and the bills. It's all the little details. The little things make these places. Uh, but then you walk in, you get this nice dirty carpet, and then you come into the kitchen, which is very small, but still cute nonetheless. Um, well, I just, all the details, you guys, I'm, and the ducks. <laughs> it's so clever. Uh, but then in here's a dining room. Um, again, with it just, it's so cute and well it's dirty and not cute but like it's cute there's also no windows in here which is kind of spooky but it's fine and they have these little curtains over the doors and you come in here to a tiny hallway that's kind of dark and scary into another one also dark and scary nice clown on the wall uh in here i believe is a bathroom yes okay so as you can see um she's beautiful <laughs> and there's just no windows it's kind of scary and then in here is the living room uh which has boarded up windows but it's cute I actually moved around the, I just keep, it's cute. I moved around the whole floor plan. So I put the kitchen and dining room back here and I moved the living room into the entryway kind of. Um, so this is all very different. The screenshots are kind of weird because of that, but you'll see when we get there. Um, and then in here's the master bathroom bedroom, <laughs> the master bedroom, uh, which actually, well, I made it the master. I think it's not the master. I think it's a kid's room because there's like toys, but I made it the master also ducks uh but then in here this is like a staircase like a, a closet under the stairs which is kind of clever actually but they've got more ducks in here um which is cool oh i also failed to mention this there's a there's um kind of an infestation <laughs> whoops forgot about that part that's the bathroom oh my god i got confused wait hold on that's you can see the bathroom that's like in the hallway you know um, but then when you go upstairs, uh, you find yourself in another hallway with no windows. <laughs> uh, but there's like this cool thing with the broken down fences again back here. And here is a bedroom. Um, it's just like some kitty stuff. And then over here, we've got another one. It's a little nursery. Look at that. The ducks. <laughs> I'm growing increasingly concerned. And then back here is some more bedroom. I think this is what they would consider the master, but I switched the whole floor plan upstairs around. Like I changed it completely. So there's like three kind of small kids rooms up here in my floor plan. Um, and it looks nothing like this one. So there's that also like a little teeny tiny bathroom uh, with no sink and a giant duck. So interesting, but that's, oh, did I show you guys this one? Yeah, I did. I remember now. Okay. I was like, hold on. Uh, and then, oh, in the backyard, too. I f failed to mention this part. There's actually no door going back here. I feel like that was unintentional. I think that maybe it just disappeared. But back here, um, more ducks. <laughs> and then just a fire pit, you know, casual stuff, broken down fences. Um, which I just think this whole thing is so clever with the fences. Is that just me? Okay, I'm going to stop now. But that's the whole house, you guys. And with that being said, let's jump right on into the renovation. Okay, so we are back and we are fixer uppering this house again. Wanna know why I say that? Because I just recorded for eight minutes without ever pressing record. So I was sitting here talking to myself for eight solid minutes, but I never pressed record. Um, 
so, you know, that's a really fun, happy time. I'm really glad that happened to me. Wow. <laughs> I haven't done that in so long. I did that. I used to do that a lot. Um, not a, it used to happen to me like once a month probably, but I usually would go like two minutes and then notice, but I went like half the whole voiceover this time. Cause this voiceover is what, like it's this one I think is 14 minutes and I went eight. So yikes. I, <laughs> that's so embarrassing. It just, luckily I don't think anyone's home, but if they are home and they heard, I'm going to the same stories twice. So that's good. Wow. Now I'm paranoid. I was talking to you about how I started streaming by accident. Like, this is just me messing up with OBS now. I'll get to that story in a second. But you guys, this house, uh, it is called Crumbling Colonial, as many of you have probably seen from the title. That was a dumb thing to say. But I think I've done a house called Crumbling Colonial before. I know I've done some colonials and some crumblings because there's only so many, like, negative adjectives <laughs> to apply to a fixer-upper house. I've done so many of them now that they all kind of, like, run together, you know? Um, I think I've done, wait, how many fix, I've done like 70 something fixer uppers, haven't I? I think I ha I'm, I have to check. Give me a second. Cause we need to know. I think I've done, did I just have my 75th? I must have, right? Yikes. We've done so many fixer uppers. Like I, I, yeah, no, this is 79. Wow. Yes. Yeah, so I've definitely done some crumblings before. Um, let's look it up. Hold on. Crumbling. I'm gonna, oh my God. Crumb. Have I not done a crumbling? I've done a colonial. That's for sure. I've done two. I've done a twisted colonial and I've done a crippled colonial, but I have not done a crumbling colonial. I've done a crumbling something else, I feel like, like maybe a crumbling Cape Cod or something. It didn't show up when I typed crumbling. So maybe I haven't done a crumbling. I don't know. Leave me alone. <laughs> but that's, uh, that's, that's the deal with Fixer Upper today. But this one, this house, I think I'm going to use it, which is rare for me because you guys know that I build a lot of things. Like I build a house twice a week, so I can't obviously play in all of them. And plus most of them are kind of expensive and all look the same because I get in these like slumps where I furnish my bedrooms all the same way. Um, but this house, I think I'm going to use her because in case you didn't know, I have this current household called the Huntley Legacy. Um, I'll link it down below. I play it on Tumblr um, mostly. <laughs> That's a long story. I'll get to that in a second too. Um, but I'll link that down. I post like screenshots every day on Tumblr. And also I have like 12 or 13, 14, I don't remember updates of it on YouTube. Like I've done like a monthly update kind of thing. I didn't do one this month because I didn't play them all month because I was busy, um, you know, with a hurricane and going to San Francisco. And so I didn't do an update, but like, because I haven't been playing them that much. And also I kind of hate Tumblr because it's very negative and mean to me. Um, but I'm getting back into it and I still post pictures every day. I just haven't made a video about it recently. Um, so there's that, but I am starting a new generation of that legacy. I'm on gen three now and my sim just got married. So they're going to need a new house soon. So they can have babies. And I think I was going to build one on my own, um, like this weekend, but I decided that I wanted to use this one because I think it's cute. It's very like suburban <laughs> mom, like up her alley, I feel like. And also I just, I like the size of it. I think it, cause it has like the four bedrooms. I want them to have three kids. And so I feel like it is very, it just works, you know, and I want to play in this house. So I'm going to use it. It's just, it's rare that I have a house like that because I build so many things. It's rare to find one that I actually want to play in, but I like this one and I want to play in her. So I'm going to use it for this. Um, but there's that. And I just feel like I should explain a few things about this household for a second, because you're going to see some furniture and be like, Hmm, that's kind of weird, Kayla. For example, the kids' bedrooms have a lot of like third place bowling trophies in them uh, because the storyline behind this particular family is that the dad is a mega famous celebrity bowler as like he's literally a mega famous celebrity bowler. Like that's his thing, he bowls, he's a celebrity bowler. And his name is Tommy Oaks. He's one of my townies. In case you guys have seen my Simsy save, uh, which I assume many, most of you probably have. I made this um, renovation thing kind of, I remade the entire Sims 4 game. Um, I renovated every community lot and I made all new townies and stuff and like redid the whole game. And I put it, like the download of the save file up and so you can download it. I'll link that down below too if you haven't seen it, uh, but you can play in it if you want to, but there's all new townies and he's one of them. Well, all the same townies are there too, but also like new ones because every house is full now, um, including Newcrest and stuff. And so he's one of the townies, Tommy Oaks. And uh, she's married to him now and they're going to have bowling babies, obviously. But my idea for the story is that like Tommy is so good at bowling, you know, but his kids just hate it and they're not good at all. And they just keep getting third place. <laughs> like they just, they're like, well, they're still good. Cause they keep like, they're winning kind of, but they just don't, they aren't winners. Like they're just like, okay at bowling. And there aren't many people that participate in these bowling tournaments, you know, but they keep getting third place. And so they have a lot of third place trophies in their room. Like the, the one kid, I picture him being a teen at this stage. He's often even born 
born yet. Like, I don't even know why I'm doing this, but, like, his bedroom is, like, for a teen in my mind, and it's got, like, two shelves with six bowling trophies, I think. T one of them is first place. Like, he won once when he was little, and there was no one else playing against him. But then there's two silver and three bronze, I think. And just, I love that there's so many third place trophies. I want to take them all third place, but I feel like it would be kind of weird. But I think when I play with him, like when he's born and I actually play on my, on my Tumblr, it's going to be all third place trophies. So you'll see that later in the video, <laughs> but I think it's pretty funny. Um, so there's that. And I just, I felt like I had to clarify that because you're going to see it and be like, what is this? Or like if you download the house and you're just going to see these bowling trophies everywhere. It's kind of weird. I will admit that to you. Um, but you know, it's fine. Also, I completely redid the upstairs. I usually try and keep some of the walls in my floor plans because I feel like it's more realistic that way. So, because you can't just tear down an entire floor and then like redo the floor plan, you know, in real life. Um, you have to keep most of the walls because like they're supporting walls and blah, blah, blah. Renovations, um, <laughs> renovation rules, building rules. Um, but in mine, I usually try and keep some, but in this one, like the upstairs floor plan, I changed every wall. And I think downstairs, I changed a lot of them. Not all of them though, if I remember correctly. So there's that. Speaking of fixer upper, <laughs> I have terrible news for you, in case you had not seen. Um, Fixer Up or the TV show on HGTV is ending. Like, this is their last season. Um, <laughs> I started this particular series because of that show on HGTV, like, two years ago. And, well, a year and a half ago now. Um, and now it's ending. So, rip Fixer Up or luckily this particular show on YouTube will continue. But the show on HGTV is leaving us and I was very upset I saw the news and I tweeted about it like three days later because I just I didn't know what to say I feel like I had to address it though but I didn't know what to say because people kept sh like tweeting it at me and I was like I know it's over <laughs> you don't have to tell me anymore I remember uh but then people kept tweeting it so I was like okay I have to I have to say something I can't just like not you know um so I tweeted about it but it was very sad and it's it's horrible news I don't know what I'm going to do about it but it's fine <laughs> Um, oh my god, okay, one other thing. I mentioned that I messed up with OBS earlier, didn't I? Because I stopped, I wasn't recording, I thought I was. Yeah, so on Sunday, I messed up big time with OBS. I don't know how this happened, but I accidentally live streamed <laughs> for a little bit. Um, so what had happened was, I was, I usually stream on Sundays, but I wasn't going to stream this Sunday because I was going to see news, Newsies with my friends, uh, so I wasn't going to be, like, around to stream. Uh, but then I got back in the evening, you know, and I was doing some homework, and then I went and I edited my podcast, which, by the way, it's my podcast on YouTube. Subscribe. It's linked down below. It's called Hey Simsy. You should watch it. Um, it's very similar to my build videos, but longer and has video of me talking. It's also on iTunes and SoundCloud and YouTube. It's linked. Check it out. Anyway, editing my podcast, and I was waiting for it to export, so I had, like, Media Encoder open, and I was just sitting there, and I was like, well... I might as well, like, watch an episode of Game of Thrones while I wait for this export, right? Like, eat dinner, watch Game of Thrones, and then go back and do more homework later. So, because I had to wait, and I felt like I needed a break, you know? So, I was going to watch an episode while I waited for it to export. I had, like, an hour, you know, so I had time. Um, so, I accidentally, somehow, in that time, started streaming. <laughs> so, the stream, it lasted, like, two minutes. It was a minute of me just, like, staring at... I mean, I wasn't on... Like, it wasn't my face. It was just my computer screen, you know? But... It was like a minute of me just staring at Media Encoder and then a minute of me like opening HBO, going to Game of Thrones and then like playing part of the intro before I realized I was streaming because I didn't even know. Like I got a DM from Andrew Arcade and he was like, hey, Kayla, I don't know if you know this, but you're streaming right now. And I was like, what? <laughs> and so um, I stopped it immediately. Like, I went and I was like, oh my god, OBS is open and I'm streaming. And so I stopped it immediately, went to Twitch, deleted the VOD immediately, and then I saw in chat people were still there like, hey, you're stupid, Kayla. And I was like, I know. Um, and it was very embarrassing and kind of, it was almost kind of violating too. Because, like, I don't know what people, luckily my face cam wasn't on because my face was on. And I didn't know I was streaming and my face cam was just, like, there, open to the world. You know, it's scary. Um, but also, I don't know how many people saw, like, I don't know how many were there. Um, I don't know exactly how long it lasted either because I deleted the VOD so quickly. I think it was like two minutes and 30 seconds or something like that. It was very short, um, but longer than it should have been, let's be honest. Um, thank God Andrew DM'd me about it though because I wouldn't have known. Like people were telling me on, like they were tweeting at me, but I wasn't going to check my Twitter mentions until later, you know, because I was watching Game of Thrones. So I wasn't going to like be on my Twitter. And so I luckily got the notification from the DM. Otherwise I wouldn't have seen. Um, but yeah, so I was streaming for a couple minutes and uh, that's two big OBS mistakes in a span of a couple days. I make a lot of mistakes with Twitch recently. Um, for example, there's this, this accidental streaming. One time I drank from a water bottle with the cap still on. 
uh, the other day I was drinking out of a mug and I spilled water all over myself, like live on stream. I just dumped water down my shirt, basically. It was all over my lap. Like when I got up, I had to change my pants on camera. Well, I wasn't on camera, but like I turned off my, my webcam and then changed my pants because I was so like covered in water from this accidental spill. And when I stood up to like change my pants, there was a pool of water at the bottom of my chair because it was, I spilled so much water on myself. <laughs> it was so embarrassing. Um, and oh my, it's just, it's so bad. Everything about it is so bad. I just keep making these mistakes. Well, one time, oh, so on Twitch, I don't know if you know this, but like you can, people, like when you finish a stream, usually you'll raid somebody else where basically you'll go, like you'll stop streaming, but you'll be like, hey guys, I'm done streaming, but like go check out this guy. He's still streaming and he's pretty cool. And like you all go and raid that person. And so like your whole chat goes to their chat and it's like Simsy raid. And then you, it's pretty cool. and It's fun. I don't know. Twitch is cool. But one time I raided a person that wasn't even live. Like he was doing this, it's called a vodcast. I'm trying to like use terms that everyone can understand but basically a vod is a video on like on demand so it's like that the stream after it's over but you can like still watch it so it you know and so it was he was doing a vodcast which is like he was restreaming this vod so it was like playing live again but it was like an old one it's like a rerun you know um and so it was just a vodcast but i like rated it by accident and so my whole chat went to this vodcast and then we were like wait a second this isn't live this is a vodcast. <laughs> um, we were all, it was just, it was so embarrassing. Oh my God. And the thing is, I'm trying so hard to be a, like a good real streamer, but I just can't. Like, I'm, I don't know. I'm not bad at it. I just keep making these stupid, embarrassing mistakes. Um, but I guess it happens to everybody, you know? I just, I feel like it's weird because I, a lot of people that start streaming, start streaming when they don't have, this is going to sound bad. I don't mean like this, but like when they don't have an audience, you know, but like I started streaming with a lot of people already watching. And so there's more people to see me mess up, you know? Like, I don't have that time to adjust and, like, learn how to stream as I grow. Like, there, there's already people there watching me mess up, <laughs> which makes it, I think it's more fun that way because more people get to laugh with me, but also more people get to laugh at me. So <laughs> there's that. Um, but yeah, I streamed by accident for a couple minutes. It's gone now. Don't worry about it. But it was, it was embarrassing. Yikes. Okay. Also, so here's a fun story. <laughs> I have to always, call, I keep mentioning this, but I feel like I don't address it well enough because I have to always call someone before I start recording, right? Which is, it sounds dumb because I've been recording for like almost three years kind of now. Like I should, no, I don't need to do this, you would think, but no, no, I do. So basically now that I've been into a dorm, um, so the past like month, like 40 something days actually, um, Whenever I record a video, I have to call somebody first so that I can, like, talk out loud without feeling awkward. Because at home, I don't care. I'll just, like, record. But here, I feel weird just, like, starting to talk out loud, you know? And so I always call somebody before I start so that I can get used to talking out loud. And then I start recording. Um, and so today, before this particular video, I called my dad because my mom's an answer. I don't know, because my mom is usually more like, oh, hey, Kayla, how's your day going? And I can talk to her. My dad is always like, you got this. You'll do great. Okay, bye now. And so he's less useful to talk to no offense dad but like you know what I mean that like my mom is more like open to conversation but she's usually busy like she's usually at work and so she doesn't always answer but when she does it's better than when my dad answers again no offense but I called him and he's like um you've got this you're a cool cat and that's the single weirdest thing he has ever said I just don't understand why he's like this and he called me a cool so I mean I'm a cool cat you guys I got this but, like, that's the kind of support I get. I mean, it's a good thing, but, like, I needed him to be like, so how was your day? And I could be like, yeah, I'm, I made pancakes this morning. But instead, he was like, you're a cool cat. And then I didn't, get a ch I didn't get a chance to talk. What I needed to do was talk so that I could get used to talking. But instead, he was just like, you're a cool cat. Okay, gotta go. And I was just thrown into the deep end. I mean, at least I'm a cool cat, but like, I, I needed more help than that father. <laughs> so... I'm fine, really. <laughs> I feel like the beginning of these videos is always a little bit like, Ugh, you know, but then it gets better as the time, because I get more comfortable talking. I hope that one day, I, I mean, may, I must become more open to recording in my dorm room soon, but just, it's, it hasn't happened yet. You would, th I've made what, it's been like 45 days probably, and I've made, I'm gonna guess like 50 videos since being here if you count the podcast, and if you count the streams, it's more like 60-something videos since being here, but I still can't record <laughs> without calling somebody first, which is bad. I need to get better at this. Anyway, I'm going to end the video now, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things, and in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day, and so I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody.
We need a list of like Simsy's most embarrassing moments because let's be honest, a new one happens almost every single day and we could just have a great, a great time memeing on me because I do so many stupid embarrassing things on the internet. Why am I like this?